Today at Mobile World Congress, Skype announced the availability of a final uh, Symbian client for S65 edition devices. So this is it running on my Nokia 5800 Express Music. I was actually able to install this to the phone's uh, external memory to the memory card. Um, which is good because it's definitely a six megabyte file. So as you can see, there's plenty of uh, settings available here. You can um, have it alert you when you're using a 3G connection. There's audio. You can actually have it show your phone book contacts, which is definitely handy if you want to use Skype to make all of your phone calls. You can change the ringing tone here, the IM tone, and then you can change if there's a notification and how long it stores stuff. So you can also set call forwarding up, uh, set up privacy. So it's a pretty full featured client. Um, under contacts, you can see it just it looks just like your um, Skype buddy list on your computer. So you've got the availability icons if they have an avatar set, and then any kind of a status uh, message there. So you can click on a contact and you get a little pop-up asking if you want to call them or start an instant message. You can also send them a file, uh, which is definitely pretty cool. So if we go to the start IM, we're going to chat with uh, .sysks here. And so let's just say, hi. You're on video. So you can also add smiley faces here if you wanted to. Um, there's a bunch of different options for you. In fact, way too many options. You can even have a dollar sign or a pizza slice or whatever you want to do. So while you're chatting with other people, you can go back to your buddy list and do anything you want. When that message comes in, it'll pop up a little notification. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back though. You can also dial a number. There's the phone pad here. There's also these tabs across the top. So there's my notification, uh, dot six. When you're at this list, if you have a new item, it's going to pop up here. So you just touch that and there we go. So she responded, what? And Skype is not in the S60 dictionary, but it is now. So these little tabs up top, you can click on those to switch between the phone pad. These are all of your history. Uh, you can even buy uh, Skype out credit and find your uh, subscription status and that sort of thing. And you can change your away message here. So if we go back over to the chat one. There we go. So now when you click on her or options, you can bookmark an IM. Uh, you can change your profile. You can add people. You can close the, ch the chat. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. Now the other cool thing that I want to do is show you that this is actually using the uh, VoIP when you make a phone call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 5800 in offline mode, which means that the cellular um, network is unavailable, and it's going to ask me if I want to create a wireless, uh, a Wi-Fi connection in offline mode. I'm going to say yes. So now let's go back to contacts and Rita and. I'm going to call her. Okay, so we're on Wi-Fi and we're still chatting. You can see right here that this is an offline mode. So this is entirely over data networks. And when I click on her to call, it's calling. And it's a very similar look to the native Symbian uh, calling function. If we activate the loudspeaker, you can hear that it's actually ringing uh, and again this is my phone in offline mode um, over Wi-Fi so it's actually really really good and let's see 
who else we could, I wonder if you and Spence would let's see mind if I call you you and Spence writes at all about Symbian so he might actually be on the floor at Mobile World Congress. So in any case, there we go. Ewan just responded. So we're calling Ewan Spence over Wi-Fi from my 5800 on Skype. Yeah, hello. Hello, Ewan, how are you? Hello. Hello, Ewan, can you hear me? Ewan, can you hear me? Ewan, can you hear me? Ewan, can you hear me now? Type something. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> okay, so there's some issues with uh, audio, obviously, especially on the 5800. But in any case, it's still ringing. You can hear Ewan's voice um, over Wi-Fi, which is definitely cool. So definitely some bugs to fix, but uh, overall, it's definitely a good start to Skype on Symbian devices. We'll have definitely more coverage of this as they update the client. So thanks a lot.